They, they estimate like you're losing 1% of your muscle mass uh, every year after 40. And building and retaining your muscle mass, not through bodybuilding levels, just to like, if, you, if you're like 50 years old, 55, 60, whatever, if you could build your muscle mass up that you've lost back to your healthy levels of a 20 year old, we're not talking about bodybuilder, yeah, we're talking jacked, about yeah. a, tw a healthy, lean 20 year old muscle mass, you've lost 20% uh, of that by the time you're 60. So just putting that back is gonna have such a positive effect on your health and all your markers like blood sugar and so on. As you're losing muscle mass, you're losing the ability to process sugars as well. Uh, many health outcomes, is the, is the most positive thing you can do for your health. We could argue cardio, but cardio would be second easily in my mind to, to having so. muscle mass. Yeah, No good have, having great cardio if you've got no muscle mass and your immune system's in the toilet. You know? Well, the, the definition of dying from old age is normally when someone falls over because they're weak, they break the hip and then they die in hospital. Yeah, weak bones, uh, no muscle mass. Uh, if you're hospitalized, you're going to be basically cannibalizing your muscle mass. You're not moving and so on. So the more you've got in reserve, the more chance you get of like, I think it's, uh, there's a very high percentage of people over 65 that do not recover from that, from that fall that breaks the hip mm. um, due to having a lack of muscle mass and weak immune system. And they just, you know, it's a downward spiral from there. So there's many things it can protect you against and quality of life, man. If you can't move around and you can't do the things you want to do and you can't pick up your grandson and you can't 